Man, oh man, I was shaking in my Yeezys because I just bought a $900 printer. You know, that must be a badass printer. $900, that costs more than my goddamn computer. Let me tell you. A printer costs $900. It's salvage value. Let me tell you. After five years, I was talking to the Office Depot person, you know, tech guy, geek guy, whatever. He was telling me after five years, I could get 300 smackaroos back. But the catch is I had to pay $50 maintenance to get that 300 back. I was like, what? No way. And then I did my own calculation with an interest rate, 8%. 8% interest rate from buying this goddamn printer. It must be worth it for $900. But what I'm trying to figure out is to f- is the annual cost of this. There's maintenance, there's salvage value, printer costs. Are you kidding me? There's too much going on. I just need an annual cost of this printer. I know it's not worth $900. I mean, I know it's worth $900 at the moment, but what is it worth in five years if I'm able to get 300 back? So, as many of us know, there, money doesn't stick with a certain value. It changes over time. There's a time value of money. So, we'll say at year zero, we lost $900. That's unfortunate. And then, you know, year one, uh, year two, year three, year four, year five. So at five years, I I could get three hundred dollars back, three hundred dollars back, but only if I have maintenance every year. So let's say we have fifty dollar maintenance. So there's another fifty, 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 fifty. So my goal is to conform or con transform this cash flow diagram into something that's annual. So what I want to do is convert. Let's let's split this up. So we have a something that looks like this. So this is gonna equal what, like uh, something like that. This is gonna be fifty dollars. This is our time cash diagram for our maintenance. So that's one, and then we're gonna add the nine hundred dollars, whatever that is. Um, I believe it looked like this. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, this will be the annual payment for the $900. So we're going to add those two together. And then we're going to have the salvage cost, which is going to be a minus. And I'll tell you why it's a minus. Uh, it should look like something like this. So basically, we're going to have... Uh, we're converting the present cost into something that's annual, A1. And we're converting the salvage cost into something that's annual, A2. Um, and basically, if you want to see the annual cost, the net result, it is basically going to be, be your cost plus your maintenance minus your salvage. That essentially gives you the annual rate. So you, we're going to have to look at these formulas. I'm not going to tell you or look up in the reference guide in your handbook for the FE exam. Um, we're going to add up these things. So $50 is already an annual rate. We don't even worry about that. Forget about it. Now we need the annual rate for the $900. Well, let me tell you. That's a 900 given um, present or annual annual given present. And that's going to be at 8% uh, for five years. And then we're going to subtract a2 which is our $300 so that's going to be our $300 that is going to be annual given future because we know that's how much in the cost after five years and same interest rate so if we do this calculation this will be our overarching annual rate uh, I always hated engineering economics it just didn't fit me that well I mean I did pass the class but it was just a lot of a uh, technical jargon like I was doing mortgage rates and all this other stuff man oh man I felt like I was owning my own business from from college but I didn't own a business I just owned uh basically time to the institution because I spent a lot of time studying this stuff man oh man but did it pay off not really actually I'm it's all right <laughs> but anyway uh the final annual cost is 224.30 so that 900 dollars uh, of buying a printer is actually worth a two, a $225 for five years. And that's more bearable. I mean, I could buy that. I could do that. Easy money. I could also print money, you know what I'm saying? <laughs>